Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. I'll start things a bit differently this time, so we got a few hellos to say and a few thank yous. We've been quite busy and we just wanted to mention a few people at the start of this vlog. So uh, we were really lucky to bump into one of our subscribers. I think it was last weekend or the weekend before. Last week, I mean. And we said we would give her a special mention. So hello, Kerry. Thanks for saying hi and thanks for watching. So hope to bump into you again soon. And then we just wanted to say a massive thank you to one of our followers in, on Instagram and I'm not sure if they follow us on YouTube, I'm pretty sure they must Probably do. <laughs> but half the WA, half the world away, that's their Instagram handle and... I think for the website, so half, half the world away. .co.uk I think. We'll link it in the video anyway but I think as a lady has created this amazing website for anybody looking to move to Australia and it's got some really useful bits of information on there, links. She's featured us as one of her resources on her website which is really kind and we're Phil honoured yeah, to right. be on there so thanks so much for doing that and uh, for buying us coffees as well that's really appreciated really helps us support yeah, the, the channel and yeah we really appreciate you and yeah also the big one um, I don't know if you've watched it yet but uh, we were fortunate enough to be featured on Pat Johnson's Life his YouTube channel and podcast so go and check that video out that was kind of a well, it was a bit of a reality kick for us because obviously we've been watching Ross since we started our journey mm. and to like actually talk to him and be on his video was surreal and yes yeah, so that was cool. So if you're not following that Johnston life or half the WA you really need to get over to their pages and follow them because that Johnston life was definitely one of our sort of massive support big influence on that i think and uh, half the wa we're going to be following your amazing website from now on and redirecting people to it so uh, please keep up the great work it's really good so with all that out of the way we're gonna get you into the new video next up is a little update on our visa situation and kind of where we're at and a little bit of info through the whole pr process we were super excited to learn this week that the whole PR process is not actually going to take as long as we thought it was going to take. And actually that was a bit of a shock yeah. and a surprise to us, although a nice one. So we're still getting over that, but uh, we're so excited and we wanted to share with you what's been happening and what will happen next. So as per our previous videos, we've just lodged for our ENS 186 so it's basically an nominated sponsorship visa so with our one is guaranteed pathway into PR so yeah it's kind of snowball it's kind of like oh well we've got like 18 months to wait until they even think about it so but that's not the case and also the crazy thing is I thought that even when we got our PR visa we were gonna have to renew it but apparently on the 186 that's not the case and once you've got it, you've got it. You don't have to renew it. So yeah, you only have to renew it if you leave Australia for five years. We we're don't not, plan on doing that. We're not doing that for five <laughs> years. No. So, yeah, so we had the email saying that our visa agent had lodged and on the same email we also got bridging visas which we thought we'd have to apply for ourselves because ours runs out next June or temporary visa. We also thought we'd have to pay for them like additionally but no we don't have to pay for these bridging visas uh, they're already in place in case our PR visa is not approved before our 482s expire. Yeah so that's a good thing so if you're on looking for the ENS 186 or anything like that then there is a bit of a safety net in case things do happen. With regards to how long it takes to be processed one of their website it did say up to 16 months but our visa agent that said she what well, she emailed me the other day and said one that she lodged on the 28th of june has just been approved so that's pretty quick um yeah with visa agent she has got everything kind of assessment ready which is a good help so literally she's got everything all the i's and dotted and all the t's across so basically and um, we'll do a few more things which we'll go through in a minute. 
Right, so the first hoop we had to jump through is getting medicals. So once you've lodged your 186, I have the DHA, Department of Home Affairs, instruct you that you have 28 days from the date of lodgement to get the uh, health checks booked. You don't have to have them within 28 days, but you have to show that you've booked them. So we spent one night last week sitting in front of the computer. We, everyone's got to have it, even children, I think, as young as four, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure on the ages, but there's different criteria that they have to meet. So anyone that's over the age of 18, it stipulates you have to have chest x-ray, a medical exam, a HIV test, and a serum test, basically, to make sure your kidneys are functioning properly. So that's for three of us, and then youngest only has to have a x-ray, a chest x-ray, and a medical. So yeah, I think they're just testing for tuberculosis and anything else. I think it's just a bit of a, a safety net to make sure you're not really going to be a drain on the healthcare system if you've got anything seriously wrong with you. I think there is other, stop, other te steps they can take if you've got problems then you can go, go and see a doctor and then get those sorted out or whatever so I don't think it's really a failing point as such. I guess it depends what's wrong with you but... Yeah so yeah medicals we have to do also because our UK police checks only last 12 months our agent said that we should well she's fingers crossed that our PR gets granted within a year so we have to get UK police checks and Australian police checks so again back on the PC only three of us because one is under the age of 18 so the Australian ones worked out at $56 each that's just basically a name check one so 56 times 3 is so three of those is $168 then you have to have the UK ones which are £65 each so that works out about $390 I think for all of them which is a bit of a joke, seeing we haven't been in the UK for almost a year. Well, we... So total about $560 for police checks. Price for the medicals, all of us, I think it came to a grand total of $1,682. Well that's kind of all the info you kind of need at the moment on the 186, that's the update. So our medicals are booked for next month, so fingers crossed we'll give you another update when they come in. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll let you know what happens. So um, if you are enjoying our videos, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thanks so much for watching and... We'll see you in the next one. Bye.